we did wake up with snow on the ground. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake, it is spring, and severe weather will be here before we know it. That's right. Candace Monticelli joining us from her home <laughs> as uh, she's going to entertain us with some weather experiments. Yeah. Yes, we have weather experiments all the time. So this week, it actually kicks off Severe Weather Awareness Week in Michigan. So we're going to focus on storms this week. I think the more kids understand how storms work, they will be less scared of them or just enjoy tracking along with us throughout the entire season. So today, we're going to keep it uh, basic, learning one of the fundamental things of a storm and that's thunder. So for these experiments, you just need three simple things. You need a brown paper bag, a flashlight, and then a stopwatch. I'm just gonna use the stopwatch that's on my phone. So first we need to create thunder. So this is where the brown paper bag comes in. It'll work a lot better with a smaller lunch bag, but I only had a, a grocery size bag. So uh, this will make do. But what you want to do is scrunch the top up and then blow as much air into the bag as you can. So here we go. Then you want to hold this bag really tight, close it really, really tight. And with your free hand, you want to smack the bag so it pops. I'm not going to do it because it will cut out my mic, but we all know what it sounds like when a bag pops. So when you do that, you hear that big sound of thunder. So what's happening is all this air in here is compressing, causing pressure, and then popping the bag. And that's exactly how thunder works in real light. So that lightning strike, that heats up the air around it, and then that energy causes that warm air to expand quickly. We see the lightning, and then we hear the thunder because that heat expanding sends off sound waves to our ears in the way of thunder. So now we wanna learn about how we can track a thunderstorm. This is where you get all the kids involved at home and where the flashlight and the stopwatch come into play. So you want to give everyone a different item and you want to start with the flashlight. Once the flashlight, you turn it on, that acts as the lightning in our thunderstorm. That's when you hit go on the stopwatch. Then the uh, other kid in your family wants to hold on to the thunder. Whenever they want to, you want to smack that bag and make the thunder sound. Then that's when you stop the stopwatch. You see how many seconds are in between the flash of lightning and the sound of thunder. Then you'll know how far away the thunderstorm is. So every five seconds that the stopwatch had on it, that equals one mile that the storm is away from you. So this is what you do actually during a thunderstorm when a real thunderstorm is happening, but uh, we're going to make it different inside today with the flashlight and your thunder bag. So all you need to do is divide that number by five and that's how many miles away that thunderstorm is. And that's because we will see the lightning first before we hear the thunder because the light travels faster to us than the sound does. It still works the same way, going through those waves through the air and hearing that thunder. So pretty cool way throughout the entire summer to be continuing to hear that thunder, hear those thunderstorms, and really be interactive with it. And a fun way today to, to uh, get the kiddos involved and make a thunderstorm right in your living room. You just have to prepare to uh, break a lot of brown paper bags throughout the day. But really cool way to get the kids involved. So we are going to continue to be having these experiments all throughout the week.